Hi parents, welcome to Kids Corner. It's week seven, term two, and I'm here with a few ideas to help you get prepared to minister to your kids uh, this Sunday morning. Hi parents, step one is a game of pass the parcel. And so uh, if you have um, more than one child that can play, you could uh, do that with all your kids or you could join in with them and be a part of the pass the parcel. If you've just got one child or only one that's old enough to play, um, you could either play it with them, you could invite a friend over and do kids corner uh, with them or maybe they could unwrap one layer and you could send them for a run around the lounge and come back and do the next, something like that. So just adapt it the best you can. But what's inside here is um, a little simple treat or prize, uh, just something you could put in there, some pocket money, you could put in there uh, one of their favorite lollies or something, uh, you could put in their little toy and also in each layer, uh, one little piece of today's scripture. So here we go. Pass the parcel. All right, so here we got some stickers and the number 16. So you could pass the parcel around again. Here we got a little wristband, number 11. So, parents, what you'll have is a heap of leftover paper for wrapping all your presents in. Um, and you'll have, your kids will be happy because they would have received something that they like. And most important of all, there's going to be a heap of clues in here. And let me see what I can make of them. There we go. It says Psalm 16 verse 11. And of course you'll need a Bible. Um, or a device and you want to look up this scripture and read it with your kids and Psalm 1611 says this you have shown me the path to life you make me glad by being near me sitting at your right side I will always be joyful and so I think in the NIV it says in your presence there is fullness of joy so today's lesson is about joy. Um, it's about how we find real joy. Um, and it's about the things that can steal away our joy. And so we want for you to be able to have a great discussion with your kids today, um, helping them understand that joy comes from hosting the presence of God, uh, not from all these other things that we're gonna discuss in step two or step three, and that there are certain things that can steal away our joy, like um, comparison and like illusion. So that is the end of step one. Step two, parents, uh, we're going to talk about a few joy stealers, things that can steal joy out of your life and particularly out of your children's life. Uh, one of those is uh, illusion, illusion. Uh, we often think that if we can get something um, that our life will be more joyful if I could get more pocket money, or if I could get more friends, my life would be more joyful, or if I could get more sleep, or get a better church, or, um, you know, if your kids are more in the teenage years, or whatever, you can just sort of adapt that discussion, but those things are a bit of an illusion. And so um, what we're gonna do is give you a little template um, in your package that you'll see in the link there, and we want you to have a discussion with your kids about um, things that they see, how they perceive things, and whether they're right or not. So first of all, you want to show your kids a picture of this rabbit. Um, and so that'll be in the link underneath there, and talk to them about the rabbit. And then we want to come down and try and find a picture of a duck. And they can see the duck. And as you can probably see, that the rabbit and the duck is exactly the same picture. Um, it's just a matter of how you see them. And so it's a good opportunity to speak to your kids 
about the things that they're pursuing that they think will bring joy into their life, um, but it's really an illusion. The scripture said, remember our scripture was Psalm 1611, and it said, in your presence, God, there is fullness of joy. And so only by hosting the presence of God, only by knowing the power and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, will they really have joy. Um, and a lot of these other things that we are conditioned to chase after or to desire or to want are not the source of joy. Thanks parents, that's the end of step two. Step three parents, you'll need a device, a laptop, tablet, even a phone would be okay. And what we wanna do is we sent you some links um, so you can have some discussions with your kids about uh, the next joy killer that we wanna talk about today, things that can steal our joy. And that one is comparison, comparison. Have a think about your kids, their age, and what types of things they might compare um, that other people have or that their friends have. And uh, we want to spend a little bit of time. So I've had a look here and um, I've found some comparisons between some phones. Uh, and it could tell you all the different features and which one's the best and everyone's got their opinion and such like. Um, and what can happen is if you buy one model of phone or one particular phone, but then you compare it to another phone, um, you realize that um, you wanted the other phone, not the one that you constantly have, or the new one that came out, not the old one that you bought. But what you can do is talk to your kids and help them understand that almost all children in the world don't have a phone. They don't have access to internet, they don't have access to a smartphone. And so by comparing or desiring things um, that they might want, they're not realizing how really blessed they are. Uh, I found another comparison here. This is a good one. This is Xbox versus PlayStation. And you can ask your kids which is better, which is best, which they prefer, and all of those types of things. And when you've argued it out with them about the features and everything else, remind them that almost um, only a tiny percentage of children will ever own an Xbox or a PlayStation, even if it's last year's model or last year's version. Here's another good one. I found a link um, on all these different types of bodies. And as, as you scroll up and down on this particular page, there's men and women, different bodies. Which one's better? You know, comparison. And there we've got, um, you know, a tiny gymnast and a giant weightlifter. And, um, but they're just all dressed the same. And so you can have a discussion about which person's body is better. But the thing about these is, every single one of these people is a world champion at what they do and so we can talk about uh you know wishing we had we were taller or we were shorter or our ears were bigger or smaller or our nose or teeth were different all the rest of these things but at the end of the day um, many people have disabled bodies you know have arms missing legs missing or they can't control their body they could have a condition in their body and so um, we can lose our joy by desiring to be taller or shorter or have more muscles or have different colored skin or all of these types of things. And so this is a great opportunity to lead your kids through a discussion on comparison. Comparing something to something else will steal your joy. And that's the end of step three. I hope that you have a great weekend with your kids. Um, and uh, that you can minister powerfully to them and that they will be better equipped now to host the presence of God, which brings joy into their life and not let illusion or uh, let comparison steal away their joy. God bless.